Greetings tubers, bookers, and spacers, and tweeters out there. This is Chuck coming at you with the first official edition of what I'm going to start calling Shower Curtain Movie Reviews. Now, you may be wondering, um, okay, uh, Shower Curtain Movie Reviews. If you remember, the first movie review I did was for the film Valentine's Day. I did it right here in front of this very shower curtain in my bathroom. And I thought that looked really good. I should stick with that. I should do that. And much like Mr. Brandon 21 ish who uh, does his vlogging with his dishwashing rituals, which I love, by the way, uh, I should do my movie reviews in front of the shower curtain. Uh, and also, uh, it's sort of an homage to uh, one of my favorite films, and uh, I couldn't think of any better film that is a great example of what a, a film should be, a great film that is, and that is Psycho, Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. If you haven't seen this, you need to crawl out of your rock and watch this because this is a great film. Everybody knows this film and of course the infamous shower scene. So yeah. So yeah, so shower curtain movie reviews. Now, today's movie that I'm going to be reviewing for you is the new horror film that came out this weekend, The Crazies. That's how you have to say it, The Crazies. It is a remake of the 1973 film of the same name. Uh, I believe it was a uh, written, I think, and directed by George A. Romero, who you may know from the, uh, you know, Night of the Living Dead series. Great zombie movies, by the way. But uh, anyway, yeah, The Crazies uh, came out this weekend. And uh, it is a remake. It stars Timothy Oliphant, who is one of my favorite actors. Um, and he plays the sheriff of this small town. Uh, and basically what happens is the government uh, releases this toxin into the town's water. Uh, by accident and the people drink the water and they start to go crazy and kill people and everything well to add a uh, flame to the fire or wind to the fire I don't really know what word I'm looking for um, the government comes in and you know they, they, they want to cover this up so they start killing everybody and why rounding everybody up and and whatnot and, and bringing them in and everything and uh, so yeah, so Timmy the Elephant is the sheriff, and he's uh, uh, he's trying to get his him and his pregnant wife, and the sheriff deputy and a friend of theirs. The four of them are trying to escape from this town. Uh, they're trying to escape all the crazy people who've been infected, and of course the uh, the military who are there uh, killing everybody and whatnot and trying to wipe everything out. So, uh, but yeah, great movie, uh, really good film. Um, if I could describe this 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 film, uh, it would have to be uh, a hell ride roller coaster. Uh, well, first of all, let's talk about cinematography. Cinematography was dead on. I mean, just really did a, gr a great job of uh, of capturing this this sort of picturesque, you know, small town, but also you know, uh, shooting it in a way that captured each sort of mood that uh, you know should be presented during each moment of the film. Uh, the acting was incredible, especially Timothy Oliphant, who... Now, Timothy Oliphant, you know, I, I, he's one of my favorite actors because one of the first films he did was uh, one of my favorite films of all time, and he was in Scream 2. And, uh, but anyway, he plays the sheriff in this, and this, this role really fit well for him. Um, uh, he plays sort of a... I guess you could call him a, a tough guy, Andy Griffith. You know, if Andy Griffith were, you know, no nonsense kind of tough sheriff. So, um, but yeah, just I mean, he he was incredible in this film, and it was really awesome uh, to to see him perform in this movie. Uh, the makeup effects were awesome. Uh, the uh, the pacing of this film, and this is what I loved about this film. Okay, it was filled with with just really intense. Uh, uh, suspenseful uh, moments. Uh, you know, it's it's what you call a suspense thriller, I guess. But but the pacing of this film is awesome because it starts out, it starts out a little slow. You know, it kind of. But with the scares and the suspense, it kind of starts out. It sort of taps you a little bit, and then it taps you harder, and then it slaps you, and then it hits you, and then it just keeps going and harder and harder and harder like that, and, until you were just literally. I mean on the edge of your seat, you know, clenching your fists and whatnot. I mean, it was just, it was incredible. I mean, it was just a great film, filled with suspense, filled with really creepy, eerie moments, filled with jump-out-of-your-seat moments. Uh, there were a bunch of moments in the film where I just got chill bumps because it was just so creepy and, and eerie. You know, I don't want to give anything away, but um, 
But yeah, um, so yeah, uh, uh, the crazies. Go see this or pick it up. I would definitely recommend uh, going to the theater and see this if you want to see a really good uh, suspenseful, thrilling horror film. Uh, you should definitely go see the crazies. Uh, you won't be disappointed. Great film. Now, uh, gonna introduce you to my new rating system for the crazies. I'm gonna take the camera. Now, the crazies. Uh, new rating system. Here it goes. Now, we're going to do this based on of one to five shower curtain rings. Okay. One shower curtain ring meaning it was terrible, and five shower curtain rings meaning it was it was amazing. So here we go. So I give I give the crazies not one, not two, not three, but five shower curtain rings. Let me even those shower curtain rings up a little bit. Yes, I give the crazies. Five shower curtain rings. So definitely go see this film. Until then, this is Chuck, and I hope you guys have had a great week and a great weekend, and I'll see you on the next post. Till then, this has been the first official edition of Shower Curtain Movie Review. The Crazies.